Okay, so I am going to start my fridge organization project. Now you might be wondering, oh, your kitchen looks a little bit kind of strange back there. Well, I'm not actually in my kitchen. I'm actually in my garage. Um, yeah, so there's my garage. Um, I, a little bit of story about this fridge. I won this fridge about three years ago from Daisy Brand Cottage Cheese. I entered a contest that they were sponsoring and they were giving away a refrigerator. You had to write an essay on how a fresh fridge makeover could benefit your life. And I ended up winning the grand prize, which was this nice, lovely stainless steel fridge. I got to pick the fridge of my choice. I received um, a year supply of cottage cheese in the form of product coupons that don't expire. And I also met with a nutritionist that kind of helped me, you know, um, write out shopping list on how to pick healthy foods and how to get on the track to healthier eating. So, um, like I said, it's a fridge that I won. I absolutely love it. I was totally shocked that I was selected as grand prize because I was entering just hoping to win like the third prize, which was just a year supply of, of cottage cheese. You know, I was like, oh, a year supply of cottage cheese, that'd be awesome. And I ended up winning the grand prize. So, um, this is the Whirlpool Gold Series. Um, refrigerator it's a stainless steel and I picked the stainless steel one that doesn't leave like the marks when you touch it um, so it's kind of like the matte finish I guess is what it's called but it's a double door side by side and um, the freezer it's on the left it has a built-in ice maker which is not hooked up yet so we just kind of throw ice cubes in here um, and then the fridge is on the right and as you can see it needs to really be cleaned out and organized in an orderly fashion. I at, one, at one point I had tried to organize this fridge, but as you can tell, it just is not working. So um, for the most part, I still have, you know, the original organizational system set in place that I originally had started. I have a lot of my um, breakfast items around the top shelves on both the left and the right. I have like on the right, I have all my milk and smoothie items like protein powder, flaxseed, um, my coffee cups, and I just grab like my creamers, you know, quick, easy. And up here in the freezer section, I have a lot of my like breakfast items, like my Jimmy Dean, the sausage, egg, and ham. I've got mixed berries and spinach for smoothies, and I've got some frozen meals like for lunches. And then down below, I have like a cheese drawer, and I keep like ice cream, and I've got like candy bags. Um, I love cheese, yes. And then I have meats down below like chicken breast, hamburger patties, and things like that. So um, that's pretty much how I had had it categorized in my fridge. You know, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast foods, frozen vegetables, frozen berries, um, frozen dinners, and then like the meats and cheeses. And then on the door it's like basic items like um, ice packs, popsicles, and then like just little kind of quick grab items. So over here in the fridge, um, I've got the breakfast items at the top, and then here I have like the leftover containers. I've got like, you know, some mac and cheese, tuna. Like all this needs to be cleaned out. I'm just, I'm slacking. And then here I have my yogurt, and then in the very back I've got like applesauce cups and like butter, and then the very famous Daisy Brand cottage cheese, and some eggs. Behind here, I have a container with like my hard rolled eggs, and then I have the cheese drawer along with like the hummus and some butter and then, like pizza dipping and like cheese sticks for snacking. And then here is the vegetable fruit drawer I've got, which is totally empty now, but I've got a grocery haul to restock it. So I've got carrots and some grapes, salad fixing items. And then down below I have, this is like my tuna drawer. I keep like my relish, mayonnaise, cans of tuna, and like some apples. So there you have it, the fridge, and like I said, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to clean out. I mean, it's just, woo, it's an absolute mess. And then on the door, I have, you know, the standard condiments and, you know, salad dressings. And then down below, I've got like these Starbucks refresher soft drinks. Those are pretty good. So there you have it. That is my fridge organization like before tour and I will be back showing you the progress of the cleaning out tour as well as the final reveal with all my new containers and 
all that and whatnot. So with that being said, you're probably wondering like why this fridge is out in the garage. Well, when they delivered the fridge, I didn't realize how big the fridge was. And so it barely fit in the kitchen. There's an island right in front of our fridge. And so this fridge is a little bit wider. It sticks out further than our other fridge. And so we just moved it to the garage until, you know, when I get my own place or whatever. But for the meantime, it's all right being out here. I don't mind it. Plus I'm right next to the deep freezer, which is loaded with stuff. That's another project in itself that I'll do some other day. But in the meantime, I will be back with my fridge clean out. I've and started to clean out my fridge. I've completely cleaned out the freezer section with the exception of the ice packs on the door. And I've started cleaning out the refrigerator portion with the exception of the three drawers at the bottom. I'm still going through those as well as the items on the door. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of you know, how I'm starting my organizational process. For the time being, I took all of my freezer items and I stored them into my deep freezer over here, as well as a couple of the refrigerator items that are just sitting on top. Um, but like I said, I've still got a ways to go as far as cleaning this out. When it's completely empty, I'm going to wipe it down with hot soapy water and a dish rag, let it dry a bit, then I will start putting things back in an orderly fashion. Okay, so I went ahead and completely cleared out my fridge, with the exception of the soft drinks on the door. They're going to end up in that spot anyway, so I just left them there. But I wanted to show you that I just realized I could move my drawer system. Um, so I moved the third one, the smaller one, up a little bit to the middle of the fridge, as well as my freezer section. So I thought it was kind of cool. I mean, all these years I've had the fridge, and I just now realize I can move the actual drawer instead of just moving the shelves themselves. But I have everything in my bags here. I'm going to take them inside and package them up in my new containers. And then I will be back with the final reveal. Okay, I finally finished organizing my fridge and I wanted to show you the final reveal. I am very happy with how I was able to clean out everything and make it all nice and neat. I put a lot of my foods in new containers and that freed up a lot of space in the fridge. Um, starting with the refrigerator side, I cleared the top shelf and I'm using that as mostly my breakfast food items. Um, you know, my protein powder, my flaxseed, my milk, my coffee creamers, and my coffee. That's all on the top shelf and within easy reach. The second shelf has like my um, snack foods that I pack in my lunchbox every day. I've got like fruit. I usually make like a peanut butter sandwich, just you know, plain peanut butter on like whole grain bread. I like cottage cheese with oranges and like fresh pineapple. The second shelf here is my drawer and I was actually able to move that from the bottom to the top and I didn't realize I could move my drawers but I have like all my cheeses in here and like my hummus. This second shelf here has a lot of my pre-packaged um, foods that I can quickly grab and put in my lunchbox. So I go ahead and just kind of plate up like my cottage cheese and like my bell peppers and I can quickly grab these items and put them in my lunchbox when I'm leaving in the morning as well as a couple of like hard boiled eggs. So that right there is like my quick grab lunches. In the very back I have um, packages of, I put my spinach in pre um, bowls so I can quickly grab those as well to have salads for lunch. And then I have extra um, eggs in the back there. The second shelf under here is all of my yogurts. I just simply pull this basket out and I just grab a yogurt. And then I keep containers of hard boiled eggs which I need to make. I've got like one egg in there. This drawer here is what I really like. Um, it's my vegetable drawer and I actually went through and I labeled all my vegetables. So bell peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and carrots, my salad bag, and some mushrooms. So that's what's all in this drawer. And the final drawer here, it's pretty much the same as before. It's my apple drawer with like my cans of tuna. I like tuna fish with apples or I like apples with caramel dip or I'll do like apples and cheese sticks for like a snack. On the door here I have all the condiments. I've got all the butter at the top and then the quick grab like the mayonnaise, the relish, the jellies, the caramel toppings, um, down below salad dressings, extra packets of like ketchup from like little restaurants, my applesauce, I've got my juice, breadcrumbs, some cornbread, and then the soft drinks stayed in the same location. Over here in the fridge, in the freezer section, I have all my quick grab breakfast items. Again, 
my mixed berries, my bananas, my spinach for my protein shakes, and then my potato, egg, and ham that I mix with my own egg white um, scrambles. I've got peas and carrots, a lot of vegetables. I've got extra ones in the back. Um, here I have, these are my potatoes, my sweet potatoes. And then I have a loaf of extra bread in the back, back there. This basket here is all cheeses. I love cheese. Cheese sticks, cheese slices, shredded cheese, chunk of uh, block cheese, you name it, I like it. This drawer here is all of my meat. And I actually just buy pre-cooked um, chicken and um, burgers. I don't really buy a lot of like raw meat, so I'm not worried like if you know the refrigerator cuts out one day and everything defrosts, you know, it thaws out and I drip like chicken juice or anything because these are already pre-cooked, so I'm fine with having them higher up. If they were like raw chicken and raw like hamburger meats or something like that, I would you know keep them on the lowest shelf possible that way it wouldn't contaminate anything. But these are all pre-cooked, so I'm good to go. Then this bottom shelf here has all my frozen dinners. Um, in this little pull-out basket here and then I have like a little section on the side where I can put like frozen pizzas or something but I was able to move one of the drawers up higher that gave me more space which I really really like then this drawer down here is my sweet treat drawer I've got like frozen cookie dough um, a thing of ice cream and like a bag of candy so that right there is like my sweet treats kind of just keep that stocked with you know you always get a sweet tooth every now and then and then on the door, I just put like, you know, packages of turkey bacon, um, some more uh, flaxseed and wheat germ mix. The second shelf is actually empty. I was able to clear it out. And then the bottom shelf has a lot of my ice packs. So there you have it. There is the final reveal of my fridge clean out. Um, it took me longer than I thought because I took everything out. I wiped it down completely. I let it dry. And then I put things back. I moved things around. I, you know, I, um, and packaged some items because I did a grocery haul um, the other day and so I went ahead and packaged those up in the containers but I really really like how it turned out I'm hoping that I can stay with this system of keeping it organized but um yeah that's it um I hope it works out I really like how it turned out so um thanks for watching